like which different tools do you use? Um, I mainly use GPT-4. Okay. Um, just because I'm used to that. Yeah. For the kind of stuff I use, they're all they're all fine. Uh -huh. um, I tend to believe what it says, even though I should probably be suspicious. So there was this thing where we would sometimes Google ourselves. Have you ever chat GPT'd yourself? I'm not the kind of person who would do that. <laughs> Should we try? Okay. What, what would we ask it about Jeff Hinton? Um, what would a journalist mm. ask you about Jeff Hinton? Can you describe Jeff Hinton's contribution to the field of artificial intelligence and why they are significant? Based on Jeff Hinton's insights, what can we expect the future of artificial intelligence to look like? Yeah. You already asked me that. Yeah. Well, here's one I didn't ask. Advice for aspiring AI researchers. What yeah, advice I, do you have? I do have advice for that. Yeah. You should look for something where you figure out everybody's doing it wrong and you think there's a different way of doing it. Yeah. And you should pursue that until you understand why you're wrong. Yeah. But just occasionally, that's how you get good new ideas. You say just occasionally, but this was the occasion of your life, right? Didn't you spend decades yeah, doing Yeah, I spent decades way? having lots and lots of ideas about how to do things differently, nearly all of which were wrong. Yeah. Um, but just occasionally, they were right. Yeah. Is that a certain thing in a person? Yeah. Um, you have to be contrarian. Yeah. You have to have a deep belief that everybody else could be doing things wrong and you could figure out how to do them right. And most people don't believe that about themselves. A great self-confidence. Intellectual self-confidence, yeah. Yeah. Do you, any idea where that came from? My, my family, partly. Yeah. My father was like that. Yeah. So that was a role model for being contrarian. You felt the weight of that family history? Oh, now it's psychoanalysis. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um, a lot of pressure. Did you think about your dad when you got the Nobel? Initially, I didn't, actually. Implying you did later. Yeah, later on I was annoyed that he was dead, so I couldn't stick it to him. <laughs> that was the kind of relationship? Yeah. I, I've read you saying you think your dad might be jealous of you. Yeah. He was very competitive. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it was good for him then that he was gone. I remember once when I was uh, probably about 12 or 13, we used to play chess together. Mm. Um, by the time I got to be about 13, I got to be as good as he was. And there was one game where I was clearly winning. And he just turned the board over. <laughs> the 12 year old is supposed to do that. Not exactly, the adult. yeah. I mean, there is some interesting connection there because it required this like contrarianness, this like thick skinness, I would think. Right, and it requires you to think of yourself as an outsider. Mm, I always thought yeah. of myself as an outsider. I'm rather unhappy with the situation now where I'm a kind of insider. I'd rather yeah. be an outsider. Yeah, well, you're finding ways to make yourself an outsider. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let's just give it a problem. Let's okay. just say which is the best chatbot. Oh, okay, here we go. It'll be very, it'll have had human reinforcement learning on this, and it'll be very vague and say it all depends on this. Right. And but that's very, because of the human reinforcement yeah, learning. Yeah, there'll be human reinforcement learning. How do you feel about that part of it? Suppose you have a car that's rusted out and it's full of holes, and you want to sell it to somebody. Yeah. Well, what you do is you get a paint job with thick paint. That's how I feel about that. In other words, you've got this system yeah. that's intrinsically got all these flaws, yeah. and you try and cover up all the flaws in the system by getting a whole bunch of people in Kenya or wherever to try it on things and then say when they don't like the answer. It's not a good way of making it um, behave itself. The fact that it needs that help now means these systems aren't where they should get to. They're not. We don't know how to train them so they're naturally good and sensible and reasonable. Okay, so here's ChatGPT's ranking and <gasps> it Oh look, it comes first. first. Yes. And it gets the most lines. <laughs> and look, number two is the principal investor in number one. For example. Yeah. And Google does make it. Well, just barely. Okay, Claude doesn't make the cut. No. I'll say what about Claude? I mean, this is kind of fun, but it also speaks to the idea of all kinds of bias in these systems. This one with a bias toward itself. You also had a bias towards trying to find bias in it. So, of course, you thought that was a bias towards itself. It might be that it's the best chatbot. It might be, but I suspect if we go to Gemini and we go to Claude and we ask them all the same question, yeah, they're all going to yeah. rank themselves I higher. I suspect so. I suspect so, too. 
But the thing about it is, it's an expert at everything. It's a not very good expert at everything. Yeah, but eventually it'll be a very good expert at everything. Yes. I'll give it a question that chatbots used to fail on. Okay. Sally mm. has three brothers. Each of her brothers has two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? All right, so it's going to be one. one, right? Very good. Yeah. Because the second thing is that Sally's Sally. Sally, Sally herself. Okay. Oh, it got it wrong. Yeah. Sally has two sisters. Here's why. Hence, Sally plus one more girl makes two sisters in total, shared among three brothers. So there are two sisters in total. It understands that. It, yeah. But now it says Sally has two sisters. It doesn't understand Sally's one of them. So it's screwed up. It got it wrong at the beginning, but sort of reasoned its way closer to the right answer by the yes, end. Yes, but it's still screwed up. Yeah, that surprises yeah. you. That surprises me. It surprises me it still screws up on that. Yeah. But you suspect GPT-5 won't make that mistake. Um, yeah, I suspect. Are these kind of the interesting questions to you because it requires this complicated It's thinking? interesting that it can do reasoning like that. Right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like already we've forgotten what a revolution this is, but the idea of having the a back-and-forth conversation... The idea that it just, you just talk English to it and you're yeah. not worried about whether it could possibly understand this English. Yeah. If you went back 10 years... Yeah. And you told me we'd be sitting here and I could type anything whatsoever I liked in English to it and it would understand the English. Yeah. I'd say you're crazy. Wasn't this supposed to be the Turing test? Oh, this is at least the Turing test, yes. Yeah. So it's past the Turing test.